I'm in a meeting. Okay, I'll call you right back. Just give me a few minutes. Okay. Okay, bye. Talk to me. Okay, picture this. A film about an 11-year-old girl who is a Muslim. She has a scarf, takes it off only to rebel against her family. They are conservative. No. Liberation. No, 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 stop, 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 stop. We've already done this before. Ah, Netflix on. has done it, Apple's done it. We can't keep doing the same thing. But there is a lot of money to be married. No. Look, I am a numbers man, okay? You know what DJ Khaled says? And another one. Do another one. Another one. Another one. But wait, there is more. Sexual liberation. Oh. No, she's 11 years old. We can't so do what? it. what? It's just skimpy clothing. This is pedophilia. No, it isn't. It's just skimpy clothing, dancing sexual way, bracing this of femininity. This is child pornography. No, it isn't. I know, trust me. It's just twerking. Just twerking. Only twerking? Only twerking. She's just dancing for herself. Okay, now we're talking. Yes. Okay. I think we're gonna make a lot of money. One sec. Hello, George. Cancel all the appointments. I think we're onto something here. I'll talk to you better later. Okay, bye. This is gonna be huge. Netflix's upcoming release, Cuties, is anything but cute. Cuties tells the story of an 11-year-old girl raised in a traditional Senegalese family in France. She befriends a group of wayward preteen dancers and begins to explore her sexuality as she unshackles herself from the chains of her Islamic values. Despite the heavily overused Islamophobic storyline, the trailer promoting the film, which has now reached over a million dislikes, showcases all kinds of sexualized imagery of preteen girls. The original poster used by Netflix to promote the film was also just as shocking. Thankfully, the film was swiftly met with public outrage and hefty criticism for its outrageous exploitation of vulnerable children. A petition calling for the film's cancellation has also worked up almost 600,000 signatures. In response, the raunchy poster promoting the film has since been pulled down and Netflix has apologised for using inappropriate artwork, stating it was not okay. You don't think? But nevertheless, the billion dollar enterprise went on to praise the film for winning a Sundance Award. As though that somehow makes everything better, while expressing no intention of halting the film's release, which pretty much renders their entire apology meaningless, considering the full film, which features close-up crotch shots of pouting preteens, is really no better than the poster itself. Astoundingly, the producers of the film have also tried to justify the film by reassuring us that Cutie's intended audience was actually for adults. I'm sorry, what kind of an adult enjoys gazing at children twerking in skimpy clothes? I'll tell you, probably ones that are found in prison. Colouring child pornography with phrases such as 11-year-old trying to explore her femininity with preteens running through the streets waving lingerie does not make this liberating at all. Rather, something that would have been featured on Jeffrey Epstein's playlist. The entire ordeal has left most of us wondering, where do we draw the line between freedom of art and child exploitation? It's no secret that despite the intended messages of the film, the imagery contained within the film should not be in the public domain accessible to all kinds of perverted individuals. The imagery is borderline child pornographic and by all means should be censored. Not only is such content putting the lives of vulnerable children at risk, but it's also ramping up the sexualization of our children today. Not allowing children to be who they are, children. But in all honesty, in today's liberal society with principles and values that fluctuate sporadically by the day, we are only going to see things worsen. In fact, this isn't the first time Netflix has been called out for streaming child pornography and I sure don't think it'll be the last. The movement to normalise child pornography and the sexualization of minors is well underway and pedophilia is already being labelled as an alternative sexual orientation. Pedophilia is an unchangeable sexual orientation 
As Muslims and even for those concerned non-Muslims, we should stay aware and be vigilant of the dangers that surround us. We should nurture environments in our homes that protect our loved ones from potential harm and dangers. We should review all content that comes onto our screens before allowing our children access. As for me and my children, we've decided to unsubscribe from Netflix and I highly encourage you to do the same. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us all. If you enjoyed this video and other content One Path Network produces, please visit OnePathNetwork.com. For as little as a dollar a day, you can help in spreading beneficial content across the globe. Thanks for your support, guys. Thank <laughs> you.